Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I have my friend Carla here with me in the studio. Hello. So um, she's playing on the jelly plate. See, I showed her how to play on the jelly plate. And we're going to play on our pick 10. Now, um, I had told you last year that I wasn't going to do these again, but you guys have all kind of talked me into it. So yeah, it's happening. So here we go, January 2018, pick 10. I have quite a few different um, pages left in this journal, so this I'm just going to continue. These are the ones that we did last year. And so here we go, new year, 2018. Let's see what we're going to come up with. We're going to use our trusty old sticks. Um, I've had several people ask me where the prompts are. If you go to my Artsy Endeavor Facebook page, in the file section, you are going to see a list for pick 10 prompts. There you go. Um, I will post the prompts after the video airs, and they are not going to be on the same day every month because I use this kind of to fill in where I need to. All right. So, Facebook page, Artsy Endeavors, look under the file section, and you will see the prompts for pick 10. All right, let's go. Here we go. Pick one. I'm going to pick them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be cool, isn't it? Seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Carla's witnessing. I'm not looking. So, ten. All right. Are we ready? Let's see what number one is. Use yellow. I can do that. Let me get some yellow. Um, let's use this bright yellow. What are we going to do with it? We're just going to use yellow. And actually, I have this really cool paintbrush. Look at this. It's got like fingers. So we're going to use yellow with our fingers. So here we go. This is a palette I'm using for right now. As you guys know, my palettes are always changing. That must be the artist in me. I don't know. So we're using yellow. Isn't this brush cool? I found this at Michael's. It's called a Half Inch Premier Amethyst Filbert Wisp. So if you're interested in this brush, I'm guessing you can go find one there. Okay, what do you think? Think we got enough yellow? Carla, are you using yellow? Yes, I am. Cool. All right. There's our yellow. And you guys know, with these pick tens, you can't start off all gung-ho because you never know um, what's coming next. So I always try to uh, take the steps slow and not put, just cover the whole thing in yellow. All right, so there's number one. Let's see what number two is. Dun, da, da. Add glitter to paint. I can do that. Let me grab my glitter. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I went and I got, um, this is Golden's Teal Fluid Acrylic. You know, they don't make this color anymore. How dare they? Golden, make teal. Anyways, um, I got a little cup here because I just, you know, I don't even need the cup. Let's do it on the palette. How the heck with the cup. So we're going to put a little bit of this teal down here. I have to find a little stirry stick. I'm going to put some teal down. Not a whole lot because, again, I don't want to do the whole page in teal. And I've got this Recollections Glitz Blank Rose. I don't know. Glitter. It's glitter. Trust me, it's glitter. And we're just going to mix it up. Now, see, that just ruins all the glitter. Well, that stinks. Well, it's in there. You know, I don't know. I just might end up using glitter glue. But it says with paint, so I have to use it with paint. All right, we're doing it. So let's take the same paintbrush. Get my glitter out of the way here. And again, this is the glitter with the teal paint. And we're just going to add some more glittery paint to this. Doesn't that sound like fun? Carla said it's she a lot of fun. <laughs> Carla said she won't add glitter to the jelly paint plate though. Sorry, it's going to get everywhere. <laughs> and 
That's all good. Cool. I like it. We added glitter. Yay! Next. Number three. Use a baby wipe. I don't want to wipe the whole <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> all right. So we got to use a baby wipe. I got to find my baby wipes. I found a baby wipe. So what we're going to do... I have to bleep that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't want to offend anybody. All right, so we're just going to use a baby wipe and we're going to go around the upsides. Now we're just going to use make a border. See, this is going to be a sweet and simple page. Colors. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, so we used our baby wipe and see there's still glitter. Can you see the glitter? You can see a sparkle, can't you? Okay. Baby wipe was number three. Number four is. Oh my god! Glitter again? Glitter glue! <laughs> oh, yi yi. All right, I gotta find my glitter glue. I'll be back. All right, guys, so this is how we're going to do this. It says to use glitter glue, right? Well, I have a stencil here that's got snowflakes on it, and since it's still cold um, here in New York, I just want to put some little glue, glitter glue snowflakes on board. So that's what we're going to do. Um, here's some blue. So what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to put glitter glue in here, and then I'm going to use my finger, maybe, to um, rub it around the stencil. And first got to get my pokey tool out, because the hole's not working. So let's put the pokey tool down in. Now I'll have enough glitter glue for 45 snowflakes instead of 3. That's how it happens, right? So look, we're just going to glitter glue some snowflakes. Look at that. Now let's hope they come out looking right. Ready? Oh, it needs a little bit more. Yay! Look, Carla. Ooh, love it. Cool! Let's do that again. I'm going to do one up here. You guys see me? Yeah, you can. I gotta bring it out just a little bit. There you go. All right, now we're gonna do blue snowflakes. Watch, then it'll want me to do something like add a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, okay then. cool let's do another one you know we have to do things in in odd numbers so it's either three five seven or nine and i'm not doing nine of these so we're going to do three this is actually really cool i might have to do this more yay all right so we have oh that's not enough is it that's not enough you need five. Yeah, I think so too. Here we go. We're going to do five. Let's do one right over some of this paint. Oop, keep your finger out of the other one, Cindy. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday and you're into the Happy New Year. And we had a fabulous time. My husband retired. Yay! So we went down south. And um, we are now in the throes of working on our house to get it ready to sell so that we can move south as well. And I don't know why, but Carla's up here in the tundra when she's from North Carolina. Crazy girl. Work. Ugh. <laughs> That's right. She doesn't have that R word yet. The retire one. I'm dreaming of soon, it. Soon. Soon. She's got to retire. Dreaming of it. She got to retire, and her and I have to have an art studio close to each other so we can just play in art all day. 
think we need an art training studio. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Have people come join us. All right, I'll just I'll just sit and play, and they can watch, and you, we can teach them. Doesn't that sound like fun? Just think of all the things we could teach. Carla's fantastic at doing cakes and doing fondant on the cakes, and she's just she has that skill. It's awesome. It's my way of doing art that I don't have to keep around because people eat it. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to eat glitter glue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Creative juices flowing. There you go. You get that's okay. awesome though. And I don't you have get to hang to, it up anywhere. That, very true. Or sell it, or try to figure, give it off to friends and family that don't really want it. Or <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, before we go on to the next one, actually, I'm going to look at the next one, but we're going to have to dry this a little bit. So let's look at one, two, three, four, number five. We've got a gelato or a gel pen through a stencil. That's easy enough to do. But first, I'm going to dry this up, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. I have the stencil, and I'm going to have to move these. So Carla is my witness. She's sitting here watching me. I'm just going to take them and slide them up here on top because I want to put some gelato on this paper so I can use it in this stencil. So I've got a couple different gelatos here. I've got, um, this one is metallic blueberry and it's Faber-Castell gelato and this is just white. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put some gelato down here on the paper. Oops, my gelatos are old. I don't use them very often. And why, I have no idea. I just don't. So, and then I'm gonna give a little spritz of water to that as soon as I find my little water spritzer. Get stuff off of my fingers. Um, just a touch. And we're gonna take do, 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 a brush, just a regular brush, get it wet. And we're gonna pick up that gelato and go through the stencil. So we're just gonna put a few clouds on here. Now I probably could do this with a baby wipe. I could do it, um, you know, with like a sponge, but I'm just doing it with the paintbrush, no problem. Okay, so there's a cloud, and I can tell you right now, I'm gonna need more. So I'll just put more down on my sheet here. Yeah, I'm mean to my supplies. Did you see how I squished that? That's okay. You know what we need to do, Carla? We need to check on Abby. Oh, okay. Whoops! There goes the hair dryer. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. I'll go check on Abby. I just want to make sure she's okay. Yeah. Yeah, Abby's um, trying out some new medicine, so we just have to make sure she's okay here at home. All right, let's throw another couple clouds in here. One there. Um, how about we get a, put a puffy cloud here? I could be like, who's that? Bob Ross. Happy, happy cloud and a happy, happy sky. With a happy, happy bush. Is she okay? It's snoozing away. Is she? Good. Yeah. I'll bundle up. Good. She's a good girl. All right. And see, this galato, yeah, the galato. Wow, this gelato is, um, it's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's got crumbles in it. That's because my gelatos are dry because I don't use them very often. And that's why you see the little chunky stuff and it's not really creamy. That's not a problem. You can still use your gelatos even if they get dry. Just be, you know, be aware that you may have these little crumbles in it and it's all fine. So... My tip for today. All right, so we've got some clouds. You know what, let's do the whole page. I don't like it just up there. Let's put some clouds all over. Why not? Right, because there's not clouds just in one spot in the sky. Ooh, I just got that all wet. Let's dry that off. I mess up my whole page here. Do, 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 do. 
So I was telling Carla that YouTube doesn't like music playing in the background, but sometimes I will put on my headset. The only problem is then I like to break out singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> so. All right, I like these clouds. Aren't they cool? I think they are. I hope I don't have to do something like add a frog or something crazy on this. All right, there they are. Let me dry those up. But before we dry them, I am going to look at our next prompt because you never know what's coming up next. All right, there's that. Next, we have number six. Three textures. Mmm, I gotta think about that one. All right, let me get my three textures, dry this up, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm trying to kill Carla and I here. <coughs> like an old man. Um, this is <clears throat> alcohol ink, which I am going to take some of this dollar store faux, faux snow. <coughs> <coughs> Try not to die. Woo! Phew, stinky stuffs. I'm just going to mix it up in the alcohol ink. I know, and you guys are like, what the heck are you doing? I'm putting texture on my page. I wonder if it's going to stick. You know what? i got to have glue. <laughs> that might help, huh? <laughs> can you tell Carla and I are having fun? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find some glue. God, that alcohol stinks. <sighs> we might have glue sometime today. Hmm. I'll just use my little texture. We're adding texture. This, oop, an alcohol ink too. Um, this is faux snow from the dollar store. Um, so in other words, fake snow from the dollar store. And it's just little tiny balls, um, styrofoam balls. And I thought it'd be really cool just to um, make them blue and then stick them on my page. So that's what we're doing. We're making them blue and we're sticking them on the page because we can right do, 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 do. it's raining snowballs it is sleet <laughs> <laughs> we live in new york right now it's sleet oh, i forgot about sleet <laughs> so we have sleet you guys are all like yeah okay i've, I've lost my mind yeah i have it's all right it's been gone a long time Look at that. Oh boy. Some of these ideas, I don't know where the heck I come up with them. More snow. That one we did a boo boo because we dumped alcohol ink on it. See that big blob there? We might have to take care of that. Doo -doo. We're just putting little balls of snow. Great balls of fire! Another one here, right? Texture! It said to add texture, so we're adding texture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good enough. Alright, texture. That's number one texture. Um. my pokey too. All right, there's number one texture. Number two, we're going to put some of these little snowflakes on here. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? Little snowflakes. Oh, bunged up snowflake. Okay. Little snowflake. This is just um, clear glue. It's just a uh, clear school glue that I found in one of the um, retail shops around here a while back. This is the one I was telling you guys about that it rang up for $99 a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to the cashier, I'm like, um, yeah, no, you can keep that glue. <laughs> she goes, I don't think that's right. Yeah, yeah you I think? think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unison. <laughs> It was funny. I'm like, yeah, if, yeah, no, you can keep that. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, this is my golden, uh, my fluid gold here. All right, so that's texture number two. Nobody told me today was going to be complicated. All right, texture number three. I've got this beautiful little liquid pearls, which is a dimensional pearlescent paint stuff. Okay. The technical description. <laughs> exactly. It's stuff. So I plan on just taking this. Maybe if it works. Oh, where's my pokey tool? See if it works now. Not yet. <sighs> okay, let's try it now. Yay! All right, so I'm just going to go around my clouds here. Just somewhat. I'm not going to do them perfect because that's not what this is about. This is just about putting texture on the page per the prompt. Now I've had people say, oh my gosh, I'd love to do those. They're so cool, but I'm scared. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? What's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to say, you know, use pink and purple. Uh-oh, well, we figure out how to add pink and purple in here. You know, and just remember, it's whatever's in your imagination. So if, let's say, for example, that was the next prompt, use pink and purple. I'm going to crap if it is. But <laughs> anyways, let's say that's the, you know, the next uh, prompt. All right, so just think about it. Hmm, all right, let's have some purple snowballs or let's have, you know. A child with a. Exactly. It's all, it's whatever you come out with in your head. All right, so there is number three on textures, right? Whew, that was a long one. All right, next, we have four left. So that was number six. Number seven is, <laughs> use, ne no, use neon paints. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to dry up this texture, figure out what neon paint I'm going to use, get rid of my faux snow here, and I will be back. All right, guys, so um, our next prompt was use neon paints. So I have a very pretty neon fluorescent yellow. And I told you guys about this. I bought this down in Jerry's Artorama. And the reason I bought it is because it said it was opaque and it is not. So um, what we're going to do, maybe if I can get it open, ouch, is we are going to put a little bit on our palette, just a touch. And then I'm just going to spread it out. And then I've got these, oops, two little um, stamps that I found in my minis. And I just have to clean off the tops of them so that they'll stick to my acrylic block. So I'm going to stick them on my block. Come on, stay there. You don't want to stick. I don't know why he's not sticking. All right, we're not gonna stick them on the acrylic block. I'm just gonna hold it in my hand. And I'm just gonna get some of the yellow paint on my little bitty guy. And we're just gonna add little bitty yellow snowflakes all over. show them to you guys. You probably can't see them unless you got me zoomed out really big. But I will show them to you guys. So there's that one. Will this one stick? Nope. Need a little bit more of the paint. So I'm just going to re-spread out what I already have on the paintbrush. And then we're going to do bigger ones. And in just a minute I'll show you guys these. All right, so there's our neon paints. Put these back in my minis so I don't lose them. Let's see what's next, shall we? All right, let's get it going. 
thing. We did it. Neon paints. All right, number seven, no, eight. Oh, scrape gesso over paint. I got an idea, but before we do it, let me show you. Actually, I can just zoom you in. Hold on. See the little yellow ones? Yay! Little yellow snowflakes. All right, so we need to scrape gesso over paint. That's not a problem, and I'll tell you why. We're going to take the heavy gesso, and it's nice and heavy. This is um, a gesso that I got, I can't remember where, maybe my art store, Aquacryl white gesso, maybe Walmart, I don't know. Um, losing my rings. And we've got this little bitty, this is a probably a hotel key. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take very little of this gesso. And we're just going to give some of these clouds a little bit of white. Because, you know, clouds aren't all just blue, right? We have to have a little bit of white in them. A little bit of color. So we're just going to give them some more texture. Give them a little bit more color. Just by scraping. see that see now we just have a little bit of texture in our in our clouds so that's scraping paint over gesso hope I'm not driving you guys crazy and getting you seasick gesso over paint. oops gesso over paint yeah what I say paint over gesso oh yeah that too <laughs> so we scraped gesso over paint actually we did it over gelato but who's checking all right, let's see. Number nine is buttons. We gotta add buttons. That's easy enough to do. Oh, let's grab some buttons. Button, button, buttons. Um, we will grab See my other buttons. Alright, we're just gonna add these buttons, maybe. Let's see what they look like. Look at these buttons! Ho, ho, ho. We're gonna have snowflakes all over the place on this page. Because these are buttons. See, they got two buttonholes in them. That's a button. One, two, three, four, we need one more. Five. We got buttons. Alright, so let's put our buttons on. Again, I'm just going to use the school glue. Just the regular school glue to hold them down. My phone's doing something over there. Okay. There's a button. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I just got done taking my inhaler. That's why they're doing that. A snowflake. Another snowflake. Snowflake. Right there looks good. Two more snowflakes. I don't want to put it too close to the binding because when I shut the journal, it won't shut. So that's why I'm going to kind of leave them that way more. That one's good right there. And then we'll put one more. Looks good right there. Button snowflakes! Must be I'm thinking about snow. Alright, <clears throat> that was number nine. Are we ready? Oh god, please be good. Please be good. 
Oh, we got to use an envelope or a pocket. This one I got to think about for a minute. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So envelope or pocket. So here's my pocket. I'll move this aside for a minute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cool pocket. So first thing I have to do is get open. Maybe. There we go. All right. Some of these snowflakes that we had, I'm going to put a few of those in here. And a few more. Okay. And then I am going to put, I have some of this glitter here. I'm going to put in some blue. If I can get it to open on the blue. And then I'm going to put in some silver. And you know what? I haven't opened this one yet. So let me open this. I'll be right back. All right. So I got it opened. So we've got blue in there. We've got some snowflakes. We're going to put some silver in there. What other color do we want to use? White. White? Carla says white. So here's our white. And you know what? I think for the yellow, we're also going to put a little bit of touch of gold in there. So here's some white. And we're going to do a touch of gold. And this is going to be our shaker pocket for this page. So there's the pocket. Now, I'm going to do a couple things. I want to use the tiny attacher to make sure it stays shut. So I'm just going to do a couple of these down through this just to make sure it does not come unzipped. And then, before we put it on the page, I need to get some washi. And look what I found. A piece of washi tape that's kind of like snow blowing. And so now here's the thing. Where do we put it? I'm thinking right about here. I'm going to move this snowflake. Let's move that snowflake. That works. We moved him. Cindy, it'd help if you open stuff. Good Lord. Sometimes I wonder. You know, do I want to? No, I don't want to glue that down. I don't want to do that. We'll fix him in a second. So we're going to put this right here. This is the washi I'm going to use. And... What we're going to do, we're just going to tape the top of it right here. And we're going to tape it right there to the edge of the page. Now we're going to flip it up and I'm going to tape it again right there. So I'm just taping both sides of the envelope. Now, because I want it to stay here, again, voila, tiny attachers come in. So we are just going to attach it. Voila, we're done. We are done. Let's fix this guy. He's got to go back on. You know what? We'll put him right on this envelope. Why don't we do that? Let's put him right here in this corner of that envelope. So there we go. We have a pick 10 for January of 2018. What do you think? Let's bring you in. Oops, wrong way. Move this stuff out of the way. So here it is. Here is the pick 10. For January 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see what your page turns out like. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, and as always, 
have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.